name is Rob Andrew, I'm the head teacher at St James's Primary School. Welcome to our first video blog, summarising some of the key events that are happening in school at the moment. In the new start of the school year, we welcome some new members of staff. Mrs Horridge Barron, Mrs Crawley, Mr Brakewell, Mr Delaney and Miss Chambers have all joined us to take us on the next stage of our school improvement journey. We've introduced a number of things this year to improve our school. Firstly, the change to our school uniform. The children look incredibly smart and they're taking a lot of pride in themselves and therefore their work that they are conducting in school. We've also introduced a new topic-based curriculum called Cornerstones. This teaches the children every subject outside of English or Maths. We have a number of intervention strategies running this year with children coming in before school, at lunchtime and after school to do extra work to help improve their standards in English and Maths. On top of that, we're still maintaining our raft of sporting opportunities for the children. For those of you who were with us at Parents' Evening, hopefully you noticed that we've tried really hard to improve the interior design of the school. Hopefully things are far smarter, far cleaner, far more professional to give the children the environment that is fit for purpose to give them the best chance of making progress. Also, we've introduced our new Harvest Charitable project. Rather than having a harvest collection once a year where we donate food to Rochdale's Food Bank, the children and the staff felt it was far more appropriate to collect items throughout the year because, as the children would say, hunger doesn't go away when harvest is finished. So thank you for everybody for donating and let's keep those donations rolling. We are continuing on our drive to raise standards in English. The Power of Reading project introduced last year started to have a great impact on our writing. This approach to teaching writing places high quality, engaging texts at the centre of the English curriculum. It has inspired children's creativity and given them a thirst for reading and writing. So this year we've introduced a new maths curriculum known as Maths No Problem. Uh, it's based on the highly successful approaches used in Singapore, which is called Singapore Maths. It involves the children using lots of practical elements in the maths to uh, enhance the learning and the children are really, really enjoying it. And we can see that as, as we go into the lessons and go into the classrooms and also from the work they've uh, completed in the books. So the children start off with an in-focus task uh, where they're asked a question and they're allowed to explore that with a variety of responses. Um, from that, the best responses are discussed as a class and any misconceptions are overcome. Uh, then they're allowed to explore this using practical equipment and moving on to the let's learn section where they've actually put that into practice and justify their answers. So that's the key things using the teacher's questioning to make sure the children completely understand what they're supposed to be doing. Once they've completed the Let's Learn activity, another class discussion will take place about the best approaches used and then the children will get a chance to practice that as they move into their own workbook. The children are saying this is a highly successful approach and they're really, really enjoying the way that they get to explore using practical equipment and we can see this in the learning that's going on so far. Maths No Problem has helped me because I can work out my calculations into my maths journal, then write it into my workbook, so maths has become much easier. As part of our school improvement plan this year, we're trying to come up with new ways in which we can keep our parents informed of everything that's going on in class and within school to help their children's learning and progress. In September, at the beginning of the year, we hosted welcome evenings in every class throughout school, inviting parents in to get a general overview of what we were going to be teaching the children, what our expectations were, etc. And also to give parents an idea of how they can help their children at home. We're sending home half-termly newsletters which give a bit more detail to parents of the topics that we're covering and also give curriculum enrichment homework so that if parents want to help children with their homework they can do so. We've also set up a Facebook account and Twitter account so again with that we're uploading photos and videos on a regular basis so parents can see exactly what's happening. Parents also have the opportunity to now join in with our Class Dojo system, which enables them to see on a daily basis exactly how their, pet, their children are behaving and actually contributing to everyday lessons. As soon as a, a dojo is awarded, the parent gets a notification of it. This also is a big benefit to the parents. They are saying that it's a useful tool for them to see what is happening in class. Last half term in P we did lots of different things, we've done cross country, lacrosse, 
gymnastics, athletics. I've also got two children here, one who came to lacrosse with us and cross country. They're going to tell us a little bit about what they've done and how they felt about their achievements. Um, I love lacrosse because it's fun, exciting, energetic and intense and I just love lacrosse because it's a really fun game and when I played against Holy Trinity I scored lots of goals. Holy Trinity is one of our main competitors because we both went to the Nationals last year so it was a practice event for us and it did as well didn't it? Yeah? Yep. Now over to cross country we've got Amelia, how did you do Amelia? Uh, I came first place and I really loved it because uh, I was really proud of myself. Good, that's what we like. Amelia was just in second place and right at the end, what did you do? Uh, I just uh, I just sprinted at the end and I just about overtook her. Brilliant. Year 3 also won the overall trophy for the lowest scores, so we've got the trophy here just to show. Can you hold it up? Super. 